Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. Um, making a quick video today just because honestly, it's been busy. I'm doing some work, I've been cleaning up around the house, took my son to soccer this morning, and um, actually, I'm about to take him to the Detroit Red Wings game tonight. Um, his first ever hockey game. Hopefully he remembers this, I don't know if he will or not. But the, the point of this video, the reason why I clicked on it, I'm going to make two videos. One is why daily vlogging is, is bad, and the other one is going to be why daily vlogging is good. And this event tonight can be used for both purposes. So here's the, here's why I think daily vlogging is really, really bad for a lot of people, or for some people who don't handle it correctly. And that is mainly because, like example tonight, my mom's coming over, my son and I are gonna go to his first ever hockey game, and the temptation there is to vlog it, because it's like, oh man, like it's, it's gonna be a good story, or, or be interesting, at least to me, whatever. But the problem is, is you can't ever really turn it off. Like the entire time I'll be there, I'll be thinking about the story, trying to capture clips, trying to tell a story and figure how I'm gonna put this together at the end. And I'm not gonna be actually engaged with my mom, with my son, and just focused on spending that time with him. And in reality, daily vlogging, if you, if you aren't just kind of like haphazardly going about your day, there's not a good one out there really that just does their day and tells a story in a cohesive way. Like, Casey Neistat, one of the masters of daily vlogging, he very, very well, had puts together very well thought out um, clips and transitions and tells a story throughout the entire day. That means his entire day or a lot of his day, he's thinking about what he wants to say. And that takes a lot of mental capacity. When in reality, I should just be engaged with my son, I should spend time with my mom, and I should be just in the moment. And so daily vlogging from that aspect is, is a very negative thing. It's not a great thing. Not to mention you go to bed and you're thinking about what the story is going to be tomorrow. You wake up, you start thinking about how you're going to start your story. And then a lot of times the truth of it is too, right? Like today I don't have a video yet. You guys are going to see this maybe an hour, two hours after I record this. But then I have to now put this footage onto my phone or my iPad or my computer, whatever you guys use to edit. And then you have to edit. Right? You have to find some music, you got to cut things together, you got to export, pick a thumbnail. Uh, you guys get the point. All that takes work and it takes time away. So let me put it this way to you guys. You are sacrificing, or not sacrificing, you're taking your current life and you're not l fully engaged in it in order to tell a story later, right? But then you have to, you have to rob from your future life to to edit that story and put it together. Now for a lot of people that's like the artwork, that's the creativity and they enjoy that process. And frankly I do too. If I have downtime, I kind of like trying to do things and put things together. But daily vlogging oftentimes does not grant you that, uh, that time or that freedom to just do that. And so I, anyways, for those couple reasons, I think daily vlogging is really, really bad. If you're thinking about daily vlogging, I think that's some of the very, very negative side of things. It's actually not being in the moment because you're trying to tell a story. It's robbing from future moments because you have to put the story together. And it just, it takes away brain space for you to think about something else. So I want to share that with you guys. Tomorrow I'll make a video talking about why I think daily vlogging is good. And I'll be honest with you, I'm like 12 days, 13 days into this now, whatever it is. I got like 320 something to go. If I'm going to do this daily, it's difficult already. I'm, I'm at the pace right now where I'm putting out content the same day hours later because I'm not ahead. You should be ahead in your schedule and I'm not. So anyways, that's it today, guys. I'm going to take my son. I'll leave you guys with a few pictures and a few clips um, of, of my uh, son going to his first ever Red Wings game and I'll catch you guys tomorrow. See ya. Touch my skin and lift your mind. Strings tied